Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Now before we get into today's work, this massive delivery of wood has just arrived for Virtual Dagoin. He claims he's going to make something interesting. So, uh, well, what's he going to make? A pier? <laughs> There's so much wood here. Uh, that would actually be pretty amazing if he does make a pier down into the lake. Um, but I, I doubt his skills stretch that far. So, um, well, we'll see. We'll see what he does. Um, anyway, yeah, today we have all of the sugar beet to scoop up, put into trailers, and then take off to the sell point. We do need to sell it today. The price is decreasing every second. That is me being very dramatic. But yes, the price is decreasing all the time. So, um, yes, the odd hour is not going to make a huge difference. What I need to do is grab the tractor and the trailer, take it over there, and we can uh, hopefully begin. So just detach the sugar beet harvester. I will pop the weight on the back now because we should be able to attach the trailer to the weight. Uh, yeah, I need to put that front loader on. So we'll just reposition. Okay, there we go. I think my dead zones have been adjusted again. I think it's whenever there's a Windows update or something. When's the game update? It's one of the two. No, when's the Windows update? It always disables my microphone, which is highly frustrating. I have just checked. I have to check every time I record. Uh, probably sounds like something I should be doing anyway. But no, I used to just start recording, which turned out to be a big mistake. Because if there has been a Windows update, my microphone always, without fail, gets disabled. And I don't know why. And then I go and record a whole video and find out that nothing's saved. None of the. Uh, narration. Okay, so even with that weight on the back, it does still seem pretty heavy. I can go heavier. I was hoping this would be enough. Whoop. <laughs> okay, my braking wasn't quite heavy enough there. So as you can see, one bucket load has filled the trailer quite a bit, and it didn't take long to fill the bucket. Let's just drive up here. Yes, this is going to be fun. We're going to be full in no time. So, on the plus side, it means we have a massive amount of sugar beet. I did think we did because it was all looking good. Uh, but yes, it does mean, of course, that we are going to be going backwards and forwards about a million times. Again, that's me being dramatic. <laughs> but no, it, it is going to be... Uh, a lot of trips backwards and forwards, not only with the tractor but also with the trailer. Is it three? How many is going to fill this? It looks like it might be only about three. I will also uh, just close the game down and change my dead zones, making it a bit tricky. Okay, it's more than three. I've just put bucket load number four in it. This is bucket load number five. I didn't think there would be a fifth one, but it did take it all, all of number four. So let's just see. Well, it's to, it's to the litre. It's actually the right amount. So it's exactly four buckets. And we can take a load in the bucket, which is very helpful. So we'll get this put onto the back and we can head off to the cell point. Now all the cell points are together on this map, so it's not going to be too hard to uh, figure out where to go to. But, yeah, I need to just... <laughs> I think actually there is a root crop one. That one's called Tubers, so maybe I misread it. Maybe it wasn't root crops, so I think it must be Tubers. Yeah. Tag place. So, we will uh, head off with 10,000 litres. It's going to be 10,000 litres every time. So it's not bad. It's not like... Because it's sort of at this stage I would have expected to be taking three or four thousand litres at a time. So really, obviously ten trail loads is a hundred thousand litres. I would not expect that much. I think this job isn't as big as it appears. But you never know, maybe it is a hundred thousand litres. It's good. Shame the price is decreasing, but it's just the way it is. Okay, I'm gonna see you up there, and then we can uh, continue on a time lapse. First things first, I want to see how much we can make from 2,000 litres. Uh, I'm guessing it's actually here. 
the trigger. It is. 781. In future I'll probably do it all together. Just quick test. And yeah. The trailer. Love the double ram. Double hydraulic ram. I should say. The double hydraulic rams. <laughs> Plural. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Wow. And this is to fund our combine harvester. Oh, that is just fantastic. So, probably, what should we say? Three and a half, just over three and a half thousand pounds from each load. I'm very happy with that. We should be able to afford the combine then. And even if we can't, a tree or two, that'll make up the difference. So, fantastic. We're going to be able to harvest the uh, soybeans in the next episode. Well, maybe even today, but I doubt we'll get it all done today. You never know, though. Okay, I'm going to go and adjust my dead zone, and we'll get onto a time lapse. Okay, so here we are back at the field, done a few loads, um, as expected it is repetitive, but we have to do this kind of thing to progress. If we don't do this, then we're never really going to progress. In fact, if I hadn't done the sugar beets, there probably were other ways of making the money to be able to get the combine harvested, but it wouldn't have been as exciting, like we'd have probably had to keep selling trees or something continuously to get about £40,000. Uh, so definitely possible, but it's not, well, there's no variety at all. So this was definitely one of the better options. There might have been a better thing to do. I've been trying to read all the comments and stuff. Um, and, well, the, the recommendation to do the greenhouse was fantastic. That's why we've done that. There have been some other suggestions too, but some of them are a bit out of reach at this stage. It'd be good to do them in the future, but we need a bit more money, first of all. Other productions, for example. I actually don't know what kind of productions I'm going to be doing on this Let's Play. I think we're just going to have to see where it takes us. I'll keep reading all the uh, the comments and stuff. If somebody says, this would be a good time to get such and such a production, then if it feels right and we've got the money, we'll, we'll get it. It's one way of keeping it fresh. So, where are we? We've got... Well, I did do one load from the top there. Um... We've probably done about, what would it be, a third? We certainly have enough here to make the money. But I'm starting to think maybe, just to keep it interesting, we should get almost there, and then the rest of it can go in a pile. And then we can sell that pile when the price is at its best again in a year. I'm sure there won't be many people who want to watch me go backwards and forwards with this for an entire episode. Right, so this is our last bucket load for this one. This stays in the bucket. We'll get it reattached. Yes, actually, when you look at it like that, we really haven't picked up much at all. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I suppose, actually, one way of going about it again would be to now spend the money on getting a bigger trailer. That is an option. But I just don't know if we should take it. Because I'm desperate to get the combine harvester. Maybe sell a load of wood worth £8,000. 
We'll see what this gets us to. Probably about 18 or 19,000. I've lost count of how many loads I've done so far. This is probably four or five. And to keep the earnings in one figure, yeah, just got to wait with the bucket. Don't tip it until the trailer fin starts tipping, because otherwise <laughs> this will have finished before that's even started. There we go. Hoping for 19,000. Please. Close. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, I'll go and get one more load and we'll see where we stand. Might start uh, back near the yard again. Don't quite know how it's turned out and I have not cheated, I promise. But there is a fantastic trailer in the sale which only costs a little bit more than this one. Now I actually really like this trailer so <laughs> I would be uh, disappointed to see it go but then again we, we are doing this for profit we've got to succeed. I'll just show you the one in question I think it's a is it a Rudolph one? Yeah Rudolph. Um, so the capacity is substantially higher than this one and it's only what was it about a thousand it's about a thousand pounds more if we had a more powerful tractor we could have both and then we could attach them both together but I find it hard to believe that this tractor is going to be able to pull both those trailers fully loaded it does struggle a bit even with this one and yeah I didn't go over there because it's just not worth it we'll just work our way up so yeah um, do we get the other trailer? Do we sell this trailer? It would also come down to how much this one is depreciated. You'd hope it hasn't really depreciated much, because uh, it was already a used trailer. Oh well, no, that's not good. But yeah, you just never know. Depends how much the game wants to <laughs> make them lose value. We are getting there though, to be honest. It's not like we actually need a bigger trailer. Maybe we've come this far, we could probably do without. But there we go, we are fully loaded once again, I'll get it attached and I will head off and I'll see you up there. I am cutting out all of the driving because it is slow. This does about 9 miles per hour up the hill, it's not terrible but at the same time it's not great. So if my calculations are correct this should get us to about 23 or 24 thousand pounds. I think the combine harvester without the header is about 33. Um, it, it is possible for it to appear in the sale. It's not there now. But yeah, the chances uh, do make it a, a, a possible thing. It's not like it's never going to appear in there. Okay, wait for that to start tipping. And there we go. Hopefully 24. It's going to be scraping 24 though. Nope, scraping 23. <laughs> uh, so yes, we have 23. You can see everything in the sale. Let's take a look here. Combine harvesters. It's 32. 32,000. And the header, if I just quickly locate that, is 7,000. So that gives us a pretty good idea of what we actually need. We need 39,000. So we're at 23. <laughs> uh, hmm. It's because we're now selling the sugar beet at a much reduced price. How much has it gone down? It must have gone down quite a bit. Sugar beet, 385. Can get up to about 485. So we're down around 100 pounds for every 1,000 litres. I think it might be time to start putting the sugar beet in a pile, ready for next year. And Yes, like I said, we can make up the difference with wood. We do have quite a bit of wood to go at, because we are going to be expanding the yard in the future. So that's what I'll do. In fact, I might do the wood first. Let's go and get some wood. That concludes the sugar beet selling for today. Right, so this is the area just behind the greenhouses. In fact, having the trees in front of the greenhouses probably isn't the best anyway. <laughs> Blocking the sun. Okay, so we'll just take this trader off here. I think the sugar beet is probably best, well, where the tractor is now. If we can make a pile there. 
virtual dagger wound's not doing anything with the wood. I will attach to this trailer, take the weight off first of all. But we're close, and I don't mind if we spend every penny on the combine harvester, because I know that once we start harvesting, which will be instantly, we'll have money coming in. Right, so, uh, yeah, they're big trees. Very big trees. I, I don't really need the bucket on. I can take that off later. This one in particular stands out. Oh, no, don't delete it. Uh, nope. Although I do want to delete it now, so if we can delete it, that'd be great. Good. I think deleting as we go is probably for the best. Otherwise it'll start running into stumps. I know that there are quite a few which I haven't got rid of. No, don't destroy the tree. Good. So I will um, chop this up, get it loaded up. All the heavy logs first of all at the bottom. Please don't roll away. It's amazing. When, <laughs> when I cut that up I thought it wasn't too big. And then you see it compared to the trailer, and it's huge. I will also go for this tree. pretty good. Nice full load there. Uh, it's not going to get us to 39,000 unfortunately, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Just see if we can do this with the bucket on. Doesn't seem too bad. Right, so just got a couple of stumps to try and remove. These are working fine. It's just that one. One in the yard just will not disappear. I don't know why. Um... Where was the other stump? This is why I said I was going to do it when I cut it down. For that reason, I've lost it. Okay, well, we'll find it when we get rid of the grass. We'll be getting rid of the grass when we start to landscape that way. So, um, yeah, pretty good. Keep the bucket on, it seems to be fine. Hmm, could have brought some sugar beet in the bucket, actually. <laughs> the cell point is right next door. Missed opportunity. Anyway, not to worry. Uh, let's just see how much we can get for this. I'm really hoping for about £8,000, so if we get eight, I think we've done well. Anything more is just fantastic. We will just tip it up, take the straps off, and we'll see them disappear. 6,819, so yeah, slightly disappointing. Oops, too busy looking at the money. But yes, we are now £10,000 away. Less than £10,000 away. So that's not too much of a challenge for the next episode. I'm just going to go back over to the Sugarbeet field. We're going to start sorting things out there, make it a bit neater, uh, hopefully make a good pile. And then, yes, next time, with a bit of luck, sell a bit of wood, got loads to go around, and then buy the combine and the header, and then get the soybeans harvested, and that will give us loads more money. I haven't looked to see if the hand planting of trees is available yet. I know that was a mod in FS17 and 19, I believe. I think it was 19 as well. And that, that was great. Because then you didn't have to keep renting the tree planter. It was very cheap. But actually, no, I say it was cheap. It was available in 19, yes, I just remembered I did use it on uh, Survivor Challenge 1. Um, no, it wasn't cheap. I think to buy the box with the spade in and stuff, that was pretty expensive. But after that, it was cheap. It was just like a 
a one-off purchase, but then I suppose buying the, the tractor-mounted tree planter is a one-off purchase too. It does have maintenance fees, but yeah, they're not too much. But no, I did like the hand tree planting. I've just noticed another stump. I wonder if we can get it. Possibly not. It seems to be all the ones which I cut down before I enabled Lumberjack. That's probably the reason. Right, well, um, in fact it might not even be worth getting the trailer filled up at this end. Probably just do it for each bucket load, take each bucket load over there. But as a time lapse, this shouldn't look too bad. This is the general idea though. Scoop up a load. Oh no! No! I don't have my weight! How many people saw that coming? I'm sure many people did. And then put it here. So we can scoop it up later. Yep, gotta have the weight. In fact, this weight is really on the limit. It would have been good to have maybe half a ton more. Half a ton would have made all the difference. Okay, so we'll see how well I can do here. Hopefully I can get it finished. Really want to get this field tidied up. I don't usually use these trailers with the side tip, but now I realise why it has uh, the two hydraulic rams. It looked kind of weird when it was just tipping backwards, but obviously one for each side when it's tipping sideways. Very clever. Uh, so we can tip this one here. I'm just going to go and pick up what we have remaining. There's not too much there. I would say a maximum of one more trail load. Probably not even a full trail load. Hard to tell. But we're doing well. I don't know how much is actually in this pile. I don't think we can find out. No, uh, but you can... Well, you can calculate it. If you've been counting every single bucket load. Uh, I think I showed every single one. But no, don't worry, you don't have to count. <laughs> that was uh, that was a joke. Uh, but I was sort of guessing at something like 35,000? 35,000 litres? It sounds about right. Maybe a bit less. Maybe 35,000 in total. So everything that we have here. Okay, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. I'll just get this done off screen. Wow. So we are once again full. So 10,000 litres. And I still haven't cleared it all. We have done so well to the sugar bees. Uh, when I sort of said in a joking way it would be 100,000 litres, I think it might have been over 100,000 litres. Because this is just unbelievable. But everything here will be sold when we're either extremely desperate or when the price at its best. Hopefully, when the price at its best, which means it's going to be here for about a year. That's a good pile. It reminds me of the big potato pile that we had on Series 1. Just drop the contents of the bucket. And now I can finally clear up the final bit. So I didn't think I'd do it in one episode, but it looks like we are going to do it in one episode. Amazing. 42%. So that is everything except for this blob. Just get this blob over here. There might be a bit more which is lurking in the soybean crop, but if there is some, we can get it later when the crop has been harvested. A naughty blob. So I think we're ready to call it a day, and you can see it wasn't a big area, 
but the amount of work that's gone into clearing it, I knew it would be. Uh, I knew it'd be a big job. But I'm very happy to see there's more blob there. And blob there. There's blobs everywhere. Well, I think I've got the majority. Looking good. So I'll just tip this. Tip the trailer. And we'll call it a day. After all, it is 20 to 7, so we've done pretty well. Still an early finish, though. There we go. And very happy with that. So we'll just keep this here. Must make sure I never landscape near it, because it'll probably delete it. Um, and then next April-ish... Actually, no, is it? I don't think it is April, you know. No, the price said it's best in January. So it's not even a year. Good. Well, I'm going to say that was a very successful episode overall. Bit repetitive, but it's just the way it is. We're done now, so next time we can buy the Combine Harvester once we've uh, made a little bit more money from wood. And we can get all the soybeans harvested and hopefully all the soybeans sold. Shouldn't be too tricky. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.